working my ass off to repair this thing, then you go behind my back and make a new propeller. You looking to steal my glider? No, it wasn't like that. I... I'm fucking with you, kid. Can't you see me smiling? Ha ha. It's a fine propeller. We're almost ready to fly out of here. The only problem is, a few minutes ago, some scabs stumbled across the glider. I held them off, but they stole my glide wheel. Glide wheel? Sounds made up. Well, how about you make yourself up a way to get it back? We'll miss you, you cranky motherfucker. I'm sorry, Floyd. I just wish I could have saved him. Best thing you can do is keep being yourself. Keep that swagger going. Cool? Yeah. Hey, Walter talked about this guy. Named Brill Cream. Says he was the smartest guy around. You find that guy, I bet he'll figure out how to escape the city. Brill Cream? What kind of a name is that? One that's easy to remember, I guess. Anyway, Walter said there was ham radio signals coming from a Japanese museum nearby. Might be him. You should check it out. Hey, I bet you're wondering how Walter and I ended up together. I just assumed you were twin brothers. So many similarities. We met at a party. Or was it the DMV? I can't remember. Anyway, one thing I do remember is Walter didn't judge me for how I looked, how I talked, how I dressed. He told me, don't judge people, judge their actions. He was he kind of a zen motherfucker that way, and I loved him for it. He and I talked about you a lot. Uh-oh, my character moment sense is tingling. There's something special about you. But it's buried beneath a whole lot of wise ass. Gee, thanks for the revelation, Freud. <laughs> Damn it, I just proved your point, didn't I? Like I said, man, I don't judge people, just their actions. My point is, don't let you get in the way of yourself. Do you just cook up a philosopher amp or something? <laughs> 